to be honest, I'm quite emotional. Mike Crampin is back at the barn where he started in menswear in 1962. He stayed for 37 years. There was the camaraderie and the enthusiasm to do well in everything we did. Customer service was high priority uh, by the management uh, right through. We, the staff always had to have very good product knowledge, then close the sale by wrapping the goods efficiently and properly, make an eye contact with the customer with a nice smile. In its heyday, the bomb was one of the most successful stores in the company, even attracting an annual display of zoo animals in this footage. How times have changed. But looking at the empty store today, it's hard to imagine what it was once like here. But go behind the scenes and the past yes. isn't too far away. Wow, I've forgotten all about that. What a memory. The baker's ovens, they kept the famous food hall well stocked. Bakers used to work at night, so the bread was in our food hall the first thing in the morning, which produced a lovely smell, the aroma, along with the sliced bacon and the cheese. Christmas at Debenhams years ago was really magical. Walking around, memories come flooding back. Here on the third floor, where Santa's Grotto attracted thousands every Christmas. People used to queue up four deep, right down to the second floor. It really was an amazing sight to behold. The staff that worked here were a close community. Many were real characters, including Terry, the lift attendant. Second floor carpets and furniture, first floor fashion and so forth. And he really was an interesting good person. And people always say to me, you had to ask Terry how he was, and what would he always say? Up and down. <laughs> Away from the store, the annual Gloucester Carnival, and the team from the Bon always put on a float to beat their rivals, the co-op. We had an amazing display team. You know, there was uh, Mike Lamprey, Lorne Henry, Red Richards, part of a very large display team, and they always won. Always came first, the Bon. They were amazing people. In addition to the carnival, they, used, they were so artistic, these people, that they won first prize in many national competitions for the windows. In its heyday, the Bon was one of the most successful stores in the company, attracting huge crowds for its twice yearly sale. Thousands of people queued out. And where we were better organised than the Black Friday, people would start queuing 12 o'clock midnight before, but we would get here early in the morning and serve the waiting customers with tea and coffee. And then, so there was no queue jumping, we asked customers what they were waiting for and we gave them a ticket so they got the goods they'd been queuing for. But the Bon Debenhams has gone. Its demise felt keenly amongst those who worked here. But the historic building has a future. The University of Gloucestershire is spending over £50 million to turn it into a campus for its health and education courses. An extra 4,000 students plus based in, uh, in this building and the you know, knock-on effects for the whole economy, for living standards, for well-being, for the availability of you know, people who can uh, go out and get great jobs and, and, and have a great quality of life here in Gloucester and Gloucestershire. That, that's what it's really about and that's, that's why we wanted the building. The Bon was once a major destination, bustling with shoppers, thriving thanks to a close-knit community of staff who dedicated their careers to a slice of life on the high street that is missed by many. I'll leave the last word to Mike. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the lovely people I worked with during my 37 years and thank them for the fond and lovely memories they have given me, which I will always treasure. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Gloucester.